Everybody, welcome back to another episode of the Tuesday Pack, the show for the unprepared youth worker like you and me, sometimes, right? I'm your host, Paul Turner, and today I want to talk to you about how to create your own spinning wheel of goodness. Uh, I originally saw this. Uh, somebody had really kind of beat me to the punch because I had been playing a lot of, I don't know if you play this or not, uh, a lot of trivia crack. And so I was thinking about the wheel that you spin, the digital wheel that you have. And I said, well, I think I need to make a real one like that. But somebody kind of beat me to it. So I said, OK. I took that picture uh, and said, uh, gave it to somebody in my church and said, this is what he came up with here is the little spinny wheel of goodness here, as you see. And um, plenty of things we can do with this uh, for your youth ministry. I know you can do this digitally. I know there's uh, programs out there that you can do on your computer, but I think there's something in the physicality of it, of kids actually spinning this uh, to actually uh, gives it a little bit more uh, credence, I guess, or feel like they're in control of their destiny, so to speak, okay? Uh, so what? The, how this was done here, let me kind of pick this thing up here and give you a better look at it. How this was done here, this uh, wheel here is about, I'm going to say, uh, I believe it's about two foot, uh, about two feet there. And then what they used here, this is just a, the, the, the clicker thing down there, it's just a piece of plastic. Um, is just a piece of plastic they stuck in there. Now let me give you a view from the other side. This side here, as you can see, as you look down in there, I think you can see a good view of that, is the, uh, what is in there is a wheel pulley uh, from a lawnmower, which uh, has some ball bearings in it. And uh, it is a great uh, little spinny tool there that you can use uh, to have that. The back part here, as you can see, is about, um, uh, about the same size, about two and a half feet, something like that for the back. What I like, what Jimmy did, uh, who actually built this for us, he actually put these little handles on it, which makes it easy to carry um, around from here to there. Uh, I'm going to use it uh, like this. I'm going to start off, I'm going to be using it in our uh, small group, our Sunday school class. And I think I'm going to leave it down flat like that because I like... Um, you know, there's something in the physicality of it, of kids um, using this and, and actually spinning it uh, to where we're going to do that. And then I'm going to figure out how to put legs on the back of it. And then also, you know, where it can be propped up or something like that to where it's not this monstrosity. You have to keep moving around the room or something like that. So we're going to work all those details out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and finish uh, painting this, get this painted up. And then I'm going to come back to you and talk to you about uh, some ideas and ways of using this spinning wheel of goodness. Okay, so I'll be right back. All right, so I have finished painting my wheel. Now, now, before you look at it, it's not perfect in, in any way, but uh, what I've done here is I've just, I, I had some paint laying around over there in the old bag, stuff laying around. By the way, that reminds me, just save everything because you'll eventually need it for some project. Um, but yeah, I got all the major kind of colors going on here, uh, things like that. I painted the background black here to kind of make this pop out a little bit more. Um, and then now some ways you can use this. Now, I plan on using this. We, uh, the, it's a series AD is coming out uh, that we're going to do that as Bible trivia. So you could call it Bible trivia crack. You could, uh, you know, you could do, we're going to do points. So I'm going to put points on here. Uh, it could be, you know, the gold. I got a gold one there for like the really major, like that could be a prize one or something like that. When they spin it, they get something. Um, other ways you can use it, uh, you can put like, you can call it the wheel of doom and you know, it could be, you know, eat this or do that or something terrible happens to them. There could be a zonker on there or something. Uh, also, you can put um, different categories. So if you want to do something New Testament, Old Testament, some sort of uh, Bible sword drill going old school like that, where they have to spin it, look it up, that kind of thing. But there's all kinds of ways you can use this wheel. Um, so if you have some ideas, I would love to hear from you if you have a wheel like this or if you plan on making one, uh, leave me some suggestions down below and uh, that will give me an idea of some other ways I can use this. So anyway, thanks for joining me today for the Tuesday Panic. I'm your host, Paul Turner. If you like this video, please hit the thumbs up button. That lets me know that you like it and that you want more of them. And if you're brand spanking new, thanks for joining me today. Uh, if you want more videos like this, please hit the uh, subscribe button right here and that will get videos like this in your inbox. And, uh, and that's going to do it for today, guys. I hope you guys are having a great week and don't forget to have a great youth meeting. See you guys next week.